welcome to week four of our online music. Um, I'm going to start this week's lessons with a song. The song is called Move Like a Robot. It's a bit like a warm-up song, just a bit like last week's song about aliens, the alien dance. Uh, this song is called Move Like a Robot. Uh, it's got lots of actions in the song and if you want to look at the words they're attached to the video so you can print them off or have a look at them as I sing it. Um, I'm using my ukulele. I'm using this, which is called a capo, usually found on a guitar. This is actually a capo for the mandolin, but it fits perfectly on my ukulele. And the reason I'm using this is so it just makes the notes a little bit higher, while I can still use the same shapes of chords, the same chords that I'm doing. The chords I'm doing in this, for those people who are doing the ukulele with me, there's lots and lots of A minors. Remember that's F without the first finger. There's quite a lot of Gs, which some of you may do. May have done um, a bit like a G7, but the other way around. There's some Fs, and there's good old C, which we know very, very easy use of the third finger. Um, I've got my words again because there's quite a few words and I might forget them, but I'll do my best. We're going to start with a uh, bit of an instrumental warm up. We're going to do something we've done before. This is a good old tea and sugar song. I can take my tea without sugar. I'm just going to sing it for you first of all. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R, S-U-G-A-R, S-U-G-A-R. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. Do you remember that? So we're spelling sugar, S-U-G-A-R. Okay, let's 
very important that we say the word disabled nice and clearly so we can hear every letter. Okay, and sing the notes. Well, they've got to be the correct notes. If they're slightly lower, it's not correct. We need to be right on the note. Let's just sing it one more time, all together this time. After four, one, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R, S-U-G-A-R, S-U-G-A-R. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. Excellent. So this time we're going to clap sugar. And when we spell sugar, what is it going to clap then? S-U-G-A-R. Okay, so there's two bits we clap. And are you ready after four? One, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. S-U-G-A-R, S-U-G-A-R. I can take my tea without S-U-G-A-R. When we were clapping the S-U-G-A-R and sugar, what were we clapping? Were we clapping a beat or were we clapping a rhythm? Remember, beat is boring but really, really important. Rhythm is interesting. That's right, we were clapping the rhythm of sugar and S U G A R. Okay, so let's do that again. This time, when we spell sugar, we're not going to say S. We're not going to say S, but we're still going to clap it. So it will be U G A R. U G A R. So no saying S when we spell. Okay, are we ready for the beginning? After four, one, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without U G A R. U G A R. U G A R. I can take my tea without U G A R. Nice and easy. Put the S back in. Let's not say G. So it'll be S U A R. Pretty good. Off we go after four. One, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S U G A R. Oh, what did I do wrong then? I said G. Let's start again. So we can always make, we can all make mistakes. If we make a mistake, best thing to do is to do it again and get it right. So let's do it again from the beginning. One, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S U A R, S U A R, S U A R. I can take my tea without S U A R. Excellent. Got it right that time. Let's put the G back in and let's not say the R. So S U G A. Sounds easy, but I think it might be a bit trickier. Let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without S U G A. S U G A. S U G A. I can take my tea without S U G A. Very good. Let's see if we can do the sugar, the spelling sugar, with no letters at all, just the claps. And do it a little bit faster as well. Okay, relax the shoulders. Deep breaths, here we go. One, two, three, four. I can take my tea without sugar, sugar. I can take my tea without. I can take my tea without. Excellent. Okay, for this piece of music, I'm gonna use this. This is a very, very small African drum. And for those of you who are in the African drums with me, you'll know the correct name for this. Um, the ones that we use in school are about this big, about that wide at the top. This is a tiny one, okay? Um, see if you can remember or if you know what these are called. These are called djembe drums, djembe drums. These come from all parts of Africa, but mainly from West Africa. And um, they're made of wood. They've got a hole in the bottom. It's really important. That's where the sound comes out of. It's the sound hole. And it's got a skin on the top, which uh, traditionally made with uh, goat skin. Okay. This may or may not be made with goat skin, but uh, it sounds like this. Not too loud. It's a very small drum. Um, we're going to do an African song. This song is called Che Che Kule. Okay, Che Che Kule. 
Che Che Kule is a children's song from Africa and it's basically their version of head, shoulders, knees and toes. Okay. It doesn't have the same words, doesn't have the same actions, but it's basically the same song. And this song is a call and response song. So I'll say something and you will copy me. So it's me, 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 you, me, you. And at the end we do one line together. It's a call and response song. Um, and it's going to have two drum parts to it. Now, obviously, you may not have a drum at home, but you could use a saucepan. You could turn a washing up bowl upside down. You could tap on a table. You could tap on your legs, even. It doesn't really matter. In um, African drumming, we have three ways of hitting the drum. We have got the way of hitting it like this, which is called the tone. Those people that are doing drums with me will know this. This is the one we use the most. Maybe like a hand, like a glove pocket. So it goes over the corner of the drum like this. And then we have a bass, which is bouncing off the middle of the drum. It's very hard when your drum is only this size, but on the bigger drums, you bounce off the middle like a trampoline. And that's called the bass. The most important thing when you're hitting an African drum is that your fingers are together. It gives you a really good sound. I'm going to first we're going to start by learning the song. Um, and you don't need to know how to spell the words, but there's an interesting spelling. Che Che Kule is actually spelled K Y E K Y E K U L E. It looks like Kai Kai Kule, but it's actually Che Che Kule. So I'm going to sing, and then you're going to copy me. So the first line goes like this Che Che Kule. Very good. Let's try that line again. Che Che Kule. Second line goes. Che Che Kofinsa. Do that line again. Che Che Kofinsa. The next one. Kofinsa Langa. We'll copy that again. Kofinsa Langa. And the last line. Kaka Shilanga. Do that again. Kaka Shilanga. Final bit. Ku adende. Do that again. Ku adende. And then the final line we just do together and it's Ku adende. And then we go, hey! So the last part is Ku adende. Hey! Let's do the whole thing. Okay, so me, you, and at the very end when I do that, that means all together and then a nice hey! In the air. Are you ready? After two, one, two. J J Kule. J J Kofinsa. Kofinsa Langa. Kaka Shilanga. Kuma Dende. Kuma Dende. Hey! Very good. Do it one more time. J Kule at the beginning, how are we ready after two? One, two, J J Kule. J J Kofinsa. Kofinsa Langa. Kaka Shilanga. Kuma Dende. Kuma Dende. Hey! Very good. And we're going to put a beat to that. Okay, and the beat is going to be using the bass hit, which is the one off the middle. It doesn't matter what you've got, you've got your leg, or if you've got a washing up bowl, or you've got a saucepan, or anything like that, or even a drum maybe. Hit it off the middle, and we're going to do a nice, steady beat like this. Let's get that beat going. This is keeping us all in time. You'll find that all African music has a good, steady beat. Are you ready? We're going to do the song after two. One. J J Kule J J Kofinsa Kofinsa Langa Kaka Shilanga Kuma Dende Kuma Dende Hey! So at the end we've got to hit our drum and go up all at the same time. Hey! Like this. Okay, that's very good. That'd be a bit boring if we just did a beat like this. So we're going to do what I call jungle drums. We're going to be using two hands. 
Okay, and we're going to be doing this. It's all going to sound a little bit like some scary drum sound that you might get in a film when people are going through the jungle. Let's see if we can practice that. Okay, I'm starting with my right hand. Okay, it's my strongest hand, but you can start with your left hand. It doesn't really matter. But the key is we're going to go bop, 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 bop. So the first hit is always the strongest hit. Bop, bop, bop. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two. more than one of you in the class, or one of you at home, maybe you can get your brother or your sister or your mum and dad, maybe they can do the nice steady beat, and then you can do the over the top. The two together keeps all in time, that sounds really, really good. We'll concentrate on doing it just with the rhythm. Okay, so rhythm, okay, we're using our two hands, so you need hands like this. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's get the rhythm going. One, two, three, four. Sure, at the end you'll probably notice that I get a little bit louder. That final bit I go, so we're going to go up in music. We call that crescendo. We're going to get louder and we've got a really big hey at the end. Try and put two hands in the air if you can. So we've got two groups, hopefully. We've got a nice bass beat that's starting like this. So for anyone that's doing the bass, we'll start off with the bass. There you go. And now the rhythm. I'll be ready to sing. Excellent. So that's head, shoulders, knees and toes. That's from an area of Africa, West Africa, which is, if you look at the map of Africa, it's at the top left. Okay, there's lots of countries in that area, countries like Nigeria, um, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Liberia, Senegal, Gambia. There's lots and lots of countries there. Some are small, some are very big countries. And that's where a lot of this African music comes from. So that's something you can practice and when we do that in class, we have the whole class divided into two. One group doing the bass and one group doing the, the tones, the jungle rhythm. And it sounds really, really good. Uh, but you can do it with your families. You can use any utensils that you can find in the house. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, or if you're at school you can, and you haven't got any drums, you can use your desks. Okay, you can probably hit your desks and it still makes a good sound. Thanks. Okay, we're going to do a piece called one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. That sounds very easy, doesn't it? We're actually going to do it and we're going to climb a musical ladder. And as you know, that musical ladder is called a scale. So as we increase the number, the notes get higher. It goes a bit like this. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we're going all the way up to eight. Okay, it's pretty easy, really, isn't it? Okay, the key is to make sure we get the right number. Okay. So just remember the last number that we did when we climbed up the numbers to eight. Okay, and after two, we're going to 
the start. Okay, I'm going to show you with my hands for climbing up, but you don't need to do the hand actions, that's just to show you. Okay, after two. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy. Do it again. I'm not going to use any hands this time. Okay, after two. Take some deep breaths. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very easy. This time, when we do three, we're going to clap on three. So we do one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Okay, just three, and we're going to clap on three. Okay, now are you ready? After two. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I did it wrong. Do it again. Okay, it's easy to make a mistake. I clapped on four this time. Let's try it again. After two. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I almost went wrong. In fact, I did go wrong, but I'm sure you didn't. Now you can do that with any actions if you want. You can stamp on one. You can nod your head on five. It's like we did last week when we did that song that went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can do exactly the same action. And something else you can do that makes it really interesting, you can have two groups. So you can have group one that go one, one, two, one. And when they come back to one, the other group starts. So one, one, two, one, one, two. So you're doing the two groups at the same time, but they're doing different numbers. Takes a lot of concentration to do that. You can even do it in three groups. So one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. You can have three groups going at the same time. Um, you could have any number of groups. So if you've got a family in your family, there's four or five of them, you could have four or five groups. Okay, so just try doing that. Um, but that's all for this week. Uh, that's a nice, simple, quick exercise to do. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel, which makes it easy to find the channel. Um, go over the previous weeks. Don't forget, week one, we had the warm-up rock on the ukulele. That's always a good warm-up to do, or maybe last week's alien dance. We like to dance like an alien. Okay, um, and I'll see you via video next week. Thank you.